Welcome to the SmartMaker Workshop channel. Today we'll show you how to install a new firmware called Clipper on your 3D printers. We'll be using an Ender 3 printer. The tutorial will be long but very detailed. Since we need to split this material into several parts, if you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe and the notification bell. Everyone give us a thumbs up and let's get started. What is Clipper and why should you install it? Clipper is microcontroller firmware, which is the software that runs on a 3D printer's control board. Every mainboard used in a 3D printer must have some type of firmware. Without it, a microcontroller equipped device simply won't function. It is the firmware that tells a 3D printer what to do and allows it to interpret the G-code files loaded onto an SD card, which are generated by slicing software such as Orca Slicer or Cura. Most 3D printers on the market use Marlin firmware or its derivatives, which have been continuously developed for many years. Comparing Marlin and Clipper. A printer running Marlin firmware reads the uploaded G-code file, interprets the commands within it, and then sends control signals to the stepper motors, heaters, and sensors of the 3D printer. This process puts a high computational load on the printer's microcontroller, which can limit the overall performance and efficiency of the machine. Clipper, on the other hand, works on a completely different principle. It does not interpret G-code and cannot even read it. Its only function is to send control signals to the motors and heaters while reading data from the printer's sensors. Because Clipper removes G-code processing from the printer's mainboard, more microcontroller resources are available for faster movement and higher precision in printing. Where does G-code interpretation happen in Clipper? Instead of being processed on the printer's main board, G-code interpretation and command generation are offloaded to an external microcomputer. This external device handles all the demanding calculations, while the main board only executes the low-level control tasks. In this setup, an additional device acts as a host running software that manages the printer receives G-code files, interprets them, and then transmits commands to the printer's main board via a networked connection. What hardware can be used as a host? The most commonly used hardware platforms for hosting Clipper are Raspberry Pi, models 3, 4, or 02W. These devices are highly suitable due to their computing power and easy integration with 3D printing systems. It is not recommended to use a Raspberry Pi Zero, first version, because its limited performance makes it unsuitable for demanding setups. We tested this model with an Annette A8 printer, and it frequently crashed, requiring reboots. For our setup, we will use the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W because it is affordable and, based on our own tests, very reliable. At the time of recording, the price of this microcomputer is around 15 euros, you can find a link to an authorized distributor, Botland, in the video description. Additional benefits of switching to Clipper. Once your printer has been converted to Clipper, it will gain Wi-Fi connectivity, eliminating the need to manually transfer files using an SD card. Instead, you'll be able to send G-code files wirelessly from your slicing software to your printer. Required components. To set up Clipper on your printer, you'll need Raspberry Pi, 02W USB mini to micro cable, 5 volts, 2.5 amps power adapter with a micro USB output, two micro SD cards, one at least eight gigabytes for the operating system, one at least 128 megabytes for firmware installation, a case, which you can 3D print using our project, optional, an SD card reader, if your computer doesn't have one built in. Required software. You will also need the following programs, Raspberry Pi Imager, Angry IP Scanner, SSH Client Putty, SFTP Client WinSCP. Links to these programs can be found in the video description. Install all the required programs on your computer. The installation process is standard, so we won't cover it in detail. 
Insert the 8GB micro SD card into your computer's SD card reader. Launch Raspberry Pi Imager and install a special Linux-based operating system that includes all necessary components for running Clipper, a communication server, and a web interface. Select your device model. Raspberry Pi 02W. Choose the operating system. Go to Other Specific Purpose OS. Select 3D Printing. Choose Mainsail OS version 1.3.2. Select the micro SD card, then click Continue. The imager will ask if you want to apply OS settings. Click Edit Settings and configure the following. Set a host name, Clipper. Set a username and password for future logins. Write them down. Configure Wi-Fi. Enter your network name and password. Set your time zone and keyboard layout. Enable SSH authentication via password. Click Save, then proceed with the installation. This process will take a few minutes. Connecting the Raspberry Pi to your network. Insert the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi, then power it on via the PWR USB port. Open Angry IP Scanner to find the Raspberry Pi's IP address. Enter your network range. Go to Tools, Fetchers, and enable HTTP Sender and Web Detect. Click Start and find the entry labeled nginx 1.180 in the Web Detect column. Copy IP address. Paste the detected IP address in your browser. You should see the mainsail interface. System Updates. In Mainsail, go to Machine, Update Manager, Click Refresh to load available updates. First, update the operating system. This takes approximately 30 minutes. Then update all components by clicking Update All Components. The system will restart automatically once the updates are complete.